Chinook salmon must navigate eight dams while migrating from the ocean to Idaho. It's clear that dams and the reservoirs behind them slow salmon migration, but exactly how long is unclear. In some cases, migration stops altogether if salmon are eaten by another animal or harvested by us. Four of the eight dams are on the Columbia River. The other four are on the Snake River. Many people want some of the dams removed. They say reducing the number of dams increases the number of salmon that survive. Survival is crucial since fish counts trend down instead of up these days. We understand that you can't do what we've done here in the Northwest without environmental consequences. The four dams on removal radar are the four on the Snake in Washington. They generate an average of 1,000 megawatts annually. That's about enough to power Seattle. To replace 1,000 megawatts of hydropower with wind turbines, you need 1,428 new turbines. And even at that, you would probably come up short because the wind doesn't blow as consistently as the river flows. Well, nothing happens without electricity. Um, and public power has predominantly been the engine that has made this region work. Hydropower isn't all that's lost if dams are removed for salmon. We've already looked at how irrigation relies on water stored behind dams. Wait until you see what else relies on dams upstream as we follow salmon from the ocean to Idaho.